What is up everyone? I am Odu123 and we are back in my test world. And as you can see, I got some weird inventions here. We're going on to Finmine server again. As I said, every night, if I have the chance to record, I will. And in my hand is a blaze spawning thing. Cause that's I was gonna do something like this. But I watched some videos and they said that if you put snowmen in front of glass and I don't know why this isn't working so give me a second wait a second I don't need that I don't need that and you just need to like that what um I don't know what's wrong with this this was actually working Ah, no. 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 No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you... No. Sorry about that. I, uh, had to kind of do that to keep him from annoying me. Okay, there was a sign here, wasn't there? Yes, there was. There was a sign there. Well, originally... Well, now this doesn't work, apparently. I was going to have them. They were going to spawn in here. Just going to be an empty room. And right here, it's two regular pistons and glass there. And they just keep on bouncing back and forth. And every time they bounce back and forth, the snowmen shoot in there at the blazes. And the blazes would come over and they would get attracted to the lava here and come up. And I would just kill them. But then I realized that's not smart because I'm not going to get the blaze rods. So I watched a uh, crafted pixel or pixel crafted's uh, spawner video and he used sticky pistons. I I don't want to find 26 sticky pistons. Well, 26 slime bowls to make sticky pistons. So originally this would be a lot easier with just sticky pistons cuz you would have the redstone here, the repeaters, getting powered from this, powering that block with redstone up there. And well, you would move the piston back and it would power that block which powers the piston, which would power, well, push the block out and push the blaze down. That's, the, there's something wrong there though. Sticky pistons, those are hard to get. So I moved the pistons in one so that they're above the repeaters and then I still to save some more uh, redstone. I know I could save more over here but I forgot about that. To save redstone I kind of like put those here so that whenever it powers that block or where's that block? The repeater's right here, right? Yeah, repeater's right there. And then it would power this block, which power that, which powers the piston. It doesn't power that, so it doesn't power that, doesn't power that. So that one only powers whenever you step on that pressure plate that is above that block. So that's perfect. And I did the same for here. And it's pretty much the same throughout the whole thing. It's the same continuous loop. And actually, I could probably shrink down the, this thing right here. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I need redstone, a repeater. And we need sandstone, because sandstone is where I put all the wiring. Yeah, 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 whatever. And there we go. There we go. Back to normal. So originally I had these stretched out a ton, because I didn't know that I could just shrink it up into one plus sign here. So whenever it powers the red as soon as the pressure plate is triggered repeater powers that block which powers that repeater which powers that block which powers that redstone which powers that redstone because it's going up which powers somehow that repeater which then powers that and only that piston and we're gonna test this out because I already did this to prove it and to make sure it works correctly I put on corners and everywhere uh, die, die, die. Ah, you know what? 
This is why we're in creative. Just grab diamond sword and kill him. Lag, lag spike. There we go. And then, as soon as they all get down here, since I needed a sticky piston, I got one, but I'll show you how I got it. And so they all fell down here because whenever, whenever they fall down here, they get pushed and then they get pushed. Lag. I need to get out of there. I need to get out of. There. I need to get out of there. Thank you. Well, you get the point. And then to shut it off, I have a regular piston right there. So I just push that lever, and the lever's powering that block or the piston. No wiring there. And then that button there. That was really complicated because now it's only as soon as I push that button, I wait, and then as soon as it's done, I just hit them once and they die. Oh, it one of them dies. So here's the thing it goes through the button right there, powers that block, redstone wiring goes all the way up. First, it hits here because it goes through here. But this is quicker for it, so it goes through, goes there, it can't go that way because that repeater is facing that way. So it just goes there, it's up, and this is a key flip flop. So there's a redstone torch there, right? So whenever the redstone torch is going up against glass, that is not powered at all. But then whenever it hits that block, that powers, and yeah, you get the point. So it goes up and it turns off the T flip flop. Hence why it's called T, because it's T. It's like T with the redstone wiring here. T. And so while that is turned on, it goes the redstone wiring also goes through here, off all these repeaters, and there is I believe twenty-four twenty-five actually repeaters here, counting out one. Then it goes back and then it finally turns it off and it's done. So here we go, we're gonna test it. And I already tested it, so let's see. And see the redstone is going through. And it already turned the T flip flop on, so and then it turns it off. Now watch. All I have to do is with bare fist, hit them, hit them all at once. Just hit it once. And it's one hit. Right? Yes, I love it. I literally love it. And then I just turn that back on, and they continue falling. Very simple, but the problem is, on the server, I don't want people to destroy that or any of it. So we're going to have a problem with that. And that version, th just ignore that. So yeah, we are going to go into the server here. And I already got a lot of materials ready. As you can see, I went strip mining for cobble. I got cobble. And that sticky piston there, it was from that one right there, the one that, from the door. So instead, I put a regular piston down there. And since gravel would kind of mix in with this feeling, I just made it like that. And gravel falls automatically. So I'm happy. And so I already got... Oh crap, I didn't even get all my redstone here. I went major strip mining for redstone and stuff. Okay, so we're just going to move all these over one. Because I like to keep my inventory clean. And actually, we don't even need that one. Because I'm pretty sure we're not going to have... All that redstone wiring. So, we are going to go into the nether, and I will see you guys there. Okay, guys, I'm back, and we are here at the blaze spawner that I finished today. I made it into that ghetto generic B way, and I also added an enchanting room here and some brewing stands. Someone was awesome and gave me one nether wart. So now I'm growing nether warts in there so I can finally brew stuff. And I need 
food before I die. I already have stuff like iron, sword, and stuff up here. Nothing important. And see, I put signs up because I like putting signs. I like being descriptive. And so, what we're gonna do is since I spent over an hour building this, I know he said like 30 minutes. It took me 40 minutes to keep them from spawning. So we're going since it's gonna be easy, because all I have to do is line that up with bricks and cobble and stuff. It should be easy. So how many hits it takes without them getting crushed? Four for s stone. I realize it's four for iron. Sorry, I never tried it with diamond, but I'm guessing two. And fist, I don't know. Too long. And I put Odoo's Community X Blaze XP farm. Don't break. So yeah, if you have, to, well, if you ever want to get blazes, like blaze rods or XP, ask me. And you're asking me or Salik. He he also knows about this and showed me. And they are pissed off. Dang. Dang it. This is gonna be harder than what I thought. Just hit him with this. This seems easier. So, crap crap crap. I need cobble. Make cobble. Stupid. Go ahead and place that up there. Grab our cobble gear and go ahead and place it down so that they won't spawn a lot. So they won't spawn at all, hopefully. After I get all this done. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot a block. <laughs> Can I reach it? No, I can't. Can I reach it? Reach it? Yes, I can. Oh, God. I, even, like, in real life, I was looking up, trying to figure out if I could reach it. Oh, why am I doing that nether brick? Never mind, that's all... I'm gonna get tore down anyway because I have to go down. As soon as I get them from spawning, as soon as I keep them from spawning, I'll go ahead and finish up the actual process of digging out the bottom. Today's gonna be an extra long episode because I have to. I want to do this on camera. I know I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera lately on the Let's Play. So, we're gonna do this all on camera. And this one they don't spawn in. I don't know why, but they don't. So, they don't spawn in here. And they don't spawn there. They don't spawn anywhere else. Okay, just go along here. Hurry up and place me down. And if you guys want to see how I built this, just go check out Generic Bees videos. Wow, look at that. There's a ton all lined up. I literally sat here for two hours just collecting XP and blaze rods. That's why I have like three stacks full. So if you're on the server and you know me, Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Ow! How do you how do you spawn? Dang it. That's what I get apparently. Come on, I will eat all oh, caution. Why? Uh meowie. Meowie, meowie, meowie. Meowie's scared of that. Meowie, you're a good person. You're a girl, I know that. I respect you for getting on the server and having to deal with all of us. I just realized something. 
I didn't even have to put the bottom layer there. Derp. Okay, so I have a ton of stuff to do. No, I need that broken. There it is. I have to go up there and do some crap. Okay, there we go. This is the last row that I need done. So, once I'm done with this row, we will go ahead and completely clear out this area. Okay, so... Oh, crap. No! No. No, no, no. And since I need two to... I got two area to spawn. Crap, you spawned actually. I can't believe you actually spawned. You're not supposed to spawn. No, 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 no. I want the blaze rod before I even think about covering up anything else. So... Yes, win. Okay, so let's just walk along here and make sure everything's good. We're gonna head on. I'm gonna actually tear down the sign. Go ahead and destroy this whole bottom layer here. Aw, I'm mad. I have to de destroy my one hour work of art. But someone, Salik, was like complaining, kind of, about how he had to use a sword to kill him. So I was like, whatever. Give me a little bit, I'll get it down the auto version. So I'm getting it down to auto version, and hopefully he's happy, because this is going to take me forever. Especially since I have to break all of these blocks. I think my diamond sword, my diamond pickaxe is running out. I'm not even paying attention to the chat right now, so if you're watching this and you were mess messaging me whenever I was uh, doing this recording, I'm sorry if I didn't get back to you. Or if I just completely missed you. Because I'm not paying attention to it. No, 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 no. I need that there. Okay, so. I paid someone 500 for all these stones. These, uh, sandstone slabs. And I think it was a bad idea. Since I'm just breaking them all down again. My inventory's full, because I'm not picking up anything. Okay, let me go empty out my inventory here. So, we don't need... We don't need blaze rods, we don't need those. We do, we do need cobble, well, don't, don't need the cobble right now. And we don't need stairs right now, either. I'm pretty sure we don't need any nether brick. Dang it, I still got a lot more to go. <gasps> oh, never mind. I thought that I missed a thing where they can spawn. Like, I thought I had to block off the bottom part, too. Never mind. False alarm. Go ahead and place that there. Okay, so we need this to be a pretty bare room. The reason I brought all the stone because stone bricks are not going to get exploded by gas fireballs. Like, if a gas shoots over here and there's wiring, the stone bricks should protect it. If they don't, I'll be pretty mad because then I'll have to come back in here and be like, uh, and do all that again. I don't care if I get all of my furnaces back. Furnaces, who cares about furnaces? I mean, they're made out of cobble. It's not like I don't have enough. You saw my cobble supply. I have tons of cobble. Okay, so... Go ahead and empty out our inventory again. Stuff we don't need. Don't need those. Let's actually go down there and grab that cobble. I didn't even tell him I was recording, but I guess now he found out. Guess. They're on top of there. How am I supposed to get on top of... Wait, no, they're not. The... They're right there. 
How am I supposed to get up there? Dang it. I want those, actually, because I kind of need them. I don't feel like going all the way back home just to get them. So, just fall. Just fall, fall, fall. Fall and get inside. And if you didn't notice already, someone I I already know. I know who it is because I saw him do it. IDQ, you know who you are. He filled up this whole entire row here with lava, and he filled up, he blocked this off with lava here, and I was like, seriously, dude? He was coming into the actual yard, courtyard there, and I was, I was getting really mad. So then I just told him to leave, he left, but then I had to get all my cobble, I had three stacks, I had to go through and place it all back. So, not too happy about that. So now, what we need, it's like a seven wide room. It's seven wide roof. And the spawner is going to be like, I'm thinking one up. Like, the roof will be right above that one up there. So we'll go up there and do that real quick with another brick here that we have. Oh, yeah, forgot. I'll tear this down too. Crap. Derp. I have to tear all this down. I should have did all this off camera. Actually, guys, yeah, I'll be right back after I'm done tearing all this down and getting ready. Okay, guys, we are back. And I dug out. I finished up the roofing. I completely laid it out over top of the thing. And I dug out how it's going to be. So, I need more uh, nether brick. Because I ran out. And the only way to get more nether brick is for me to go all the way. Uh, where's, where's the tunnel? There it is. Get out of my way, pigman. Let's go all the way over there or over there and... Just scavenge from this. So, as you remember, there was a wall here, right? I had to cover it up because the actual spawner. See, there's there's a thing here, and that's going to be their landing pad right there. So that's going to be like a little mechanics room. So we need to go get more uh, nether brick. I could either just get it from here, or don't, don't get it. Yeah, whenever I was finishing up the current, the, uh, older version of the nether brick thing, I mean, of the spawner, yeah, there was a ton of problems with it. Okay, so that's definitely not the place to dig. Oh, is this, is this the place to dig? I'll take that as a kind of So I'm gonna I'm gonna dig right here and then we're gonna keep on walking over. Sweet. So we finally found the edge of it. Hopefully no one actually dug this already and has a giant drop off because that would suck. So now all I do is I dig myself right back up in a spiral formation. And I look straight up and I gather some and I keep on doing that until I get whatever I want. Somehow this actually works. Come on, give me all the nether brick. Give me all the nether brick I can get. It's kind of scary too because there's lava everywhere around me. So I don't think I'm gonna need this much nether brick, but you know, just to, just in case. And now we're actually just gonna dig straight up to it. Well, not straight up to it. We're gonna dig up on a slant here. Um, okay. So someone decided to place some sandstone there to be a random douche. Oh crap. That would not have been good. Not at all. Okay, there we go. 
And we got all the nether brick that we need. And there's a gas over there because I can see a giant flame. We want to eat. Eat, eat. Eat, 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 eat. Okay, now we got to go back in here. We got to finish up. Oh, you know, I think we could actually just start the wiring part now. But I don't want to yet because I want to get this part done. Because we need to get glass, glass, glass. We'll get glass later. Okay, so wait. I'm going to actually lay out some of the stuff here. Like, right here, we're going to have one piston. And right here, we're going to have our one sticky piston. And then we'll have stairs coming up to here, etc. Let me just go ahead and lay out the rest of this on a nice little pillar this way that we'll call fake, even though it is fake. So we're going to actually dig in the, the hole here, and I actually think that's where my brewing room is, is in there, like right next door to this, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to work in here. and be able to have the same stuff so be able to not run into everything all I gotta do is build stairs up to it that look nice and are functioning and this also gives me more nether brick so I could have just did this Derp. oh crap you weren't supposed to see that I got trapped there so I had to dig everywhere trying to figure out where I can get out for right now, we're just going to lay down some normal things. So that's going to be where they actually are. And then... Right? Okay, no, you want to do it there. This way you can actually see them and hit them. So that's going to be our glass right there. So if I have a torch, we'll just place a torch there for now. So torch it there. And then... What we do need is to make the stairs here just look nice. Nothing perfect, just look nice. So we want this to be cut out because we have to finish up. I'm going to lay the lever down. I might actually just hurry up and finish this part up first. We want the lever down there. Perfect. I don't know why it's lagging. Okay. There we go. That was weird. Wasn't that? That was pretty weird. I need glass. We need glass. So I didn't know this before, but I can just type slash home. And it'll take me home. Because before, you had to actually go... Oh, crap. Um, that was weird. Because before you had to actually go into the nether spawn portal thing and do it from there. So all we need is actually one glass, so this is perfect. No need to waste all our time on getting all that sand. Just have to get one. Perfect. And that digging took a while, so that cut down on a ton. Then we just type slash back, and it takes me back to wherever I type slash home. And voila! I didn't know about that before, so... Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure it goes right there. I'm like 99% sure. Just, just 99, though. Nothing more. Pretty sure I can. I'm just gonna have that exposed. And then. Oh crap. Ah, how am I gonna do the wiring? Ah, we have to figure out where we're gonna put the T flip flop. Because the button is supposed to be somewhere around here. Like, somewhere close to here, at least. Wait, I'm guessing I can just place a button here and it won't. 
that will be where our button is. So now that the button's there, we could go ahead and just lay out a floor here for me to work on. Okay, so I might have to finish up the actual T flip flop part off camera if this gets to be too long. So just keep that in mind. I don't want all this nether rack. I just want to get rid of it. This way I can lay down some nether brick. No. Wrong material. No. I don't go there. Go. No. There. And then we just want to finish up laying down our nether brick. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and dig our way out of here. Voila. I don't think anyone else will come back here, so... Okay, here we go. We're gonna empty out some of our inventory that we don't need. Okay, yeah, right in there. Empty that out. We don't need those. We, uh... That's actually everything that we can get rid of. So if you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down the pressure plates and everything in here, just to get things speeding up a bit. So pressure plates. Okay, I didn't think they were actually getting pressed down because I don't hear a noise. And now we're actually going to. Go ahead and lay down some of our. We're gonna lay down our repeaters here. You might be like, why'd you skip that one? Because there's already gonna be a piston here that's gonna push it over to here, and it's gonna push it down to there, so. Yeah. And there we go. Patch that up. And can I still walk through? Yes, I can. Perfect. Just perfect. Now I just have to wire up the rest. We'll go ahead and dig this out. And we'll go ahead and... Crap. We have to, uh... We have to actually mine everything now? Well, since I don't want to have tons of, uh... Tons of wiring sticking out, we're just going to, uh... Do this the old-fashioned way. And... Crap. Am I running out? Oh no, perfect. We'll have one there, we'll have three there, we'll have one there, we'll have one, two, three there. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and actually do some wiring here, because everyone knows you want to see wiring, that's why you watch these. Okay, so you want to place it there, and now you want to place these bad boys oh no 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 keep that there I'm gonna place these bad boys right here place this one uh, you can actually go ahead and just place it there we'll go ahead and dig our way around this we gotta find ways out of here too so and over here, you want to go ahead and place all three of them there. So, there we go. We got ourselves our wire. Oh, nothing's wired yet. We got ourselves the uh, basic infrastructure of the spawner here. And now all we have, all I'm going to do here is just wire up these, uh, these ones here. So, no, 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 never mind. I needed that there, because I need to stand here. And now, all we do is just place the redstone there, and if I hit that, it, see, yeah, I didn't want to try and hit it, but I had to. So, go ahead and, ah, oh, crap, how am I going to, how am I going to hide this? Because people, people will be, like, suspicious about it. Just 
random hanging block thing here. I hear a magma cube. Yeah, do it. Give me, give me a magma cream. No! Douche. Damn, I wanted a magma cream. Okay, so... Try and make this as concealed as possible. I don't want a gas fireball to come and destroy it. So we want to like that. Oh, that looks good. I mean, it doesn't have to look perfect. It just has to have its use and not die. Okay, so that's pretty symmetrical. And go back up here now and go ahead and just fill. Put it up. There we go. And we got one piston done. We can just go ahead. There we go. That one's done too. Ah! Told you it's done. I don't want to break that block. So we're actually just going to go ahead up here and then we'll go ahead and just. No! How'd that happen? How'd that happen? What? I don't know how that happened, because I, I sure as heck didn't touch it. Did it happen whenever I uh, jumped down here? I don't know. Don't know, don't care. Crap, how am I supposed to get back up there without... Uh, I have to go all the way back around now. And hate that. Hey, that crater kid there, crater kid five, he was supposed to give me a slime ball or a sticky piston, whatever I asked for, but he didn't, so I'm pretty mad at him. Okay, so just making sure it wasn't me that actually triggered it, because that would suck. No, 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 we need that. So let's go ahead and actually wire this part up here. So save redstone. Just go like that. So now that one, those two are done. And we need our repeaters here. Trusty old repeaters. And we're going to have to build up here and go like that. Go like, go like, go like that. No, we don't want to tick on it. We just want a good old fashioned. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. What's that? What is that? Oh, crap. Is that a four? Yeah, it is. Crap. I didn't think that through. I didn't take into account the actual flooring. Crap. How am I supposed to get back up there without going all the way around? Okay, well, I can just go like that. And now I just have to go ahead and conceal off the little area here and make sure no gas will fire at it. Okay, so now it looks pretty good. Now we got this side all taken care of and we're gonna actually break this. Sorry about that piston. I don't want to die. Gonna place that there and there. Yeah, I knew it. Knew it, knew it, knew it. I knew it would do this. So we don't need that anymore. We don't need that part anymore. But we do need this part. Okay, we do need that taken away. So... Right there and there. No, 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 no. Not that. You want a repeater. And you want that, and then that. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick little mask around. Not a mask, what am I talking about? This isn't, this isn't like, what's it called? 
This isn't Adobe After Effects. There's no masks. It's just me and all this nether brick. I'm pretty sure we don't need those. We don't need those. Do we need that? No, we don't. Oh, we do need that, though. Crap. hope that fixed it, because that was really, really frustrating. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and build back up here and seal it off. Voila, you got yourself a nice little thing. Don't know what to call it. I don't know if we need those. Nope. Wait a second, that's... Wait a second, let me... Let me check this out real quick, because I don't know whether or not that's... This is necessary. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's necessary to... Lock it off. It's pretty necessary. Yeah, that's pretty necessary to make sure nothing kills it. Go ahead back up here. I think this is going pretty good. Let's see how long I've been recording. Oh wow, 41 minutes. You guys are in for a treat. Because I actually just got the bottom part done. Not even close to finishing the top. If you guys don't mind, I'd like to do the top off camera. Just so I don't have to record every little bit of it. Crap, I knew it. To get down there and have to replace that piston and no 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 don't fall don't fall don't don't fall please don't fall okay. right there I have to go ahead and no 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 give me those back and what else is in here that I need to get rid of oh never mind parkour I think I didn't lose that. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Okay, I thought it was... I guess it's uh identity thing or whatever. Whatever it's called. Okay guys, well we are going to I'm going to go ahead and finish this up off camera. I'm sorry. I'll show you guys the finished product and I'll show you guys how to wire it and everything. What is this? Oh no, that's the that's the actual wire. That's not cool. Okay, we got wire showing. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish it off camera because this is taking longer than what I expected. So, I will see you guys next time. Peace.